Now to new information in our I-Team investigation into dental care for children. One troubling aspect, the separation of parents from their children during dental procedures, a policy the company under investigation is now denying. We've received an extraordinary reaction to these special reports, and tonight the I-Team's Roberta Baskin is here with more on that. Roberta? Maureen and Leon, the Small Smiles management company flat out denies having any such policy that children be separated from their parents. But the I-Team has heard just the opposite from numerous parents and former Small Smiles dentists and assistants. Our first report investigated the policies and practices of local Small Smiles clinics. Since parents couldn't accompany their children, Miguel's mother couldn't see this. Her son strapped to a papoose board to immobilize him, his nose pinned shut to open his mouth, and crying for his mother who never came. It's been more than two months since that visit to Small Smiles, and Miguel's mother says he's still traumatized. When we pass by that place, there is a grocery store close to it. He's so scared, and he tells me no, and he cries. He doesn't want to get out of the car. Former Small Smiles dental assistants told us firsthand what happens to children in the back. It's terrifying for them. They cry, they scream, they want their mommies. Um, Can any of the parents go back there? No. They tell them that it's the law that they're not allowed to come in the back, which is totally false. The lead dentist in the Small Smiles Clinic in Langley Park told us separating parents and children is not only company policy, but a federal regulation. If you can imagine a clinic seeing 80, 85 patients in a day and all of their parents are back roaming around all over the clinic, it's, it, it is a violation. This statement from company headquarters to the I-Team says its dentist misspoke. Small Smiles has no policy that prohibits parents in the treatment area and goes on to say its family-friendly policy encourages our dentists to allow parents in the treatment area. But the I-Team obtained this, the Small Smiles Dental Clinic Manual of Policies and Procedures. Right there on page four, under parental management, it outlines why parents should not be allowed in the room, with the only exceptions to the rule, the severely handicapped and deaf children needing a translator. Numerous emails from Small Smiles customers here and across the country also complained. The mother of a 10-month-old baby wrote, I could not come back with him. The mother of a four-year-old wrote, I was told to wait in the waiting area. And from Tulsa, my son could have died. They would not let me go back with him. Anna Maria Mejia has been telling her friends what happened to her son at Small Smiles. And she wants more mothers to know. I say, don't leave your children alone. Follow your children. Always enter with your children, because anything can happen. And as a parent, you don't know. Miguel now goes to a dentist who insists that parents be present. And you should know that four out of five dentists won't even take kids on Medicaid. Now, late tonight, the management of Small Smiles headquarters called me and again insisted it's not company policy to separate parents and children during treatments. The company calls it a practice that's up to the dentist and parents. Now, you can find all our reports on this I-Team investigation at WJLA.com. Hmm. Thanks so much, Roberta. I think you're going to get even more mail. Yeah, I bet on that. Yeah, we'll keep reporting. All right. Keep up the good work.